CJ, that must be a huge relief to get that first win. It's good to get a win. I mean, any time that you can play any game and get a win, it's definitely uh, exciting, not only for the fans, uh, yes, for the players, yes, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, we still got a lot of work to do, but to get a win is, yeah, you tick that box, and now let's continue to progress and keep moving forward. What was the aspect you were most pleased about today? The response. I don't think that, I think at half time I'd had a few choice words and did some stuff that a lot of guys haven't seen me do. But in saying that, the response to that, it shouldn't have happened to be like that. Um, if you're a professional athlete, there's certain things that you just expect them to do. I know they're not, I don't have, Olymp you know, 12 Olympians in that room. Um, but as a professional athlete, there's certain things that I expect to carry out a certain weight as I did as a player. And I don't think I had the same response from the jump. And clearly that started out the way it did. And that's why my time out ended up with everyone standing up and not sitting down so you guys could hear. I was going to say, CJ, that you've won two out of your last uh, three third quarters. Mm. So there's definitely some response that's coming from the locker room at halftime in this Adelaide team. So you're feeling like guys are responding to what you want. And even though you didn't get the result the last two games, to get the result tonight yeah. shows that something working. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, there's been stuff working all along. And keep talking about improvements and you're so close. You know, I'm, I'm over the so close and, oh, you're right there. It's... It's not one person that tells me, it's everyone that comes my way. And it's that's annoying. Like, you, you need to be better to win a game. And while there's certain things that you can improve on, here was a list, the checklist from where we've been at and for the first four games. And that's the improvement area. We need to improve all these spots. And that's all I put on the board. There wasn't anything about, here's what we're running, this is how we're attacking that and doing this. It's just that. And it was respond to that and we'll be OK. And Trent, in a breakout game for you this afternoon, of course, that must be really enjoyable for yourself to be out there on the floor. What, what moment was it that you felt like in the game that you were on and it was happening? Um, I think I came, I think Jace came off with a pick and roll and then I was out of the corner, I shaked out of the corner, lifted up and he threw a, he threw a uh, kick out to the three and, you know, I hit it. So I believe that was like my second throw at the time. So I was like, Okay, I got it going. And then, you know, I would say part of it was my defensive, the defensive energy and effort I brought, you know, sliding my feet, being able to cut dudes off, you know, switching really one through five this game. So, you know, I, I would really say that was the energy that, you know, brought me into all of this. You had 18 points in the final term, and the Sixers had 35 points in the final, final quarter, and you had a 19-4 run in there as well. So um, the group... How was it feeling during that time? Man, it was amazing. You know, it's basketball, so whenever you're going, you're going. You know, when you're down, you're down. But, you know, for us as a group, you know, um, everybody did a great job of just keeping us up when we was going down on spurts. And then, you know, my teammates were just behind me the whole entire game and, you know, just had total faith and trust in me. So, you know, I'm just, you know, grateful. You feel like you're settling into the uh, Adelaide team now and <laughs> the city and the place? Man, for sure, most definitely. You know, uh, it's a lot different than where I'm from, but, you know, um, I'm most definitely coming in to you know what I need to do. Thank you, CJ. Thank you, Trent. Yeah. What sort of stuff are we talking about and you would improve yeah. half time address? Yeah. Nothing I want to talk about, so it's just just little things and we talk about habits and things that each individual or just as a team what you say you're gonna do, do it. Like I can live with it if you, you you do what I say. If you go and manifest something out of nothing and think that it's gonna show up on the you know, and the results don't go well. Everyone's looking at like, coach, can you, can you address this or why is that? Well, I'm not playing no more. I can't go and fix and get on the floor and do that. But um, I, I like again the response, the energy that we brought, the effortness that you you need to go and win a game. I think for all our games we've been in it, our effort's been. I think it's been great. Like I said, we've had lapses, but it's been good. But the attention to detail and being able to focus on that, I think we've grown a leg. But it, the switch off, you can't flick that switch all the time. Just stay on. It's game day, it's on, and it stays on for the whole game. You put on a positive front, but were you feeling the weight of Owen Paul? No, um, I mean, every, I, I, I felt everyone talking about it, and while I don't, I'm not on social media like that, so um, I know that everyone in the city and the, around the league and coaches were 
reaching out and apologise for those that I haven't responded to because, again, I'm good with who I am as I have been my whole life. I know what I bring and how I bring it and that's all I can control. I can't control the outside. I can bring a group together and try and manufacture this as every coach does, is try to put their best foot forward and bring a team together. How you do that, that's not just one person, as you know, as an organisation. But I thought as an organisation, from where we were at from the pre-season to now and the things that we've got in place and putting forward, I knew coming into the season that as you all have been talking, there's a chance. And while it got, everyone's like, this is pretty bad. Well, it's only bad if you make it bad. Again, how mentally tough are you? Because if you haven't overcome something in your own life or gone through something, then why are you doing it? So for me, it's like, keep pushing forward, keep being who you are as, and keep showing that I love this game, I love this team, I love every player in that room and this organization. I love our fans, regardless of what they say. Hey, people say worse to me in public or on social media, and yeah, it is what it is. If you don't know me, I don't really, hey, you, you don't really deserve my take back, and I don't have to spit it back at you, but I'll still love you. Two more games now in front of these fans. Yeah. Might we look back at this game tonight and say that this was the turning point? Uh, I hope so, but um, I mean, they will start next game. <laughs> it, 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 actually, it will start at practice. I want to know who's going to show up at practice. <coughs> um, and then it will come to who shows up for the first three minutes. I mean, I wanted to win that first five minutes, and I'm looking at the stat sheet. We got five points, and everything that I said unfolded the other way. But then the effort to get back in that game, as we've showed throughout the first four games, was the fight back. And obviously this young man came in, and for where he's been at, again, from coming in in a short like the week before we start playing games to picking a whole lot of things up and then trying to find his feet and changing, learning all spots on the floor. Not just as a point guard, you got to learn all spots. And it's like, just grow. And he's saying, believe in me. And I'm saying the same thing back. And it's like, there's certain things that you need to come across in the NBL and FIBA basketball that just doesn't happen in high school and, and coming in. But for all those guys that have transitioned and transitioned well to the NBA, it's that takes growth and it takes time and our first four games have been on the road and we've had what, a, couple of, a couple of practice sessions and, it's, it. and it's, it's not a lot to go and put in, but it's like he's putting in the work. And do this trust in me. I've been doing that 20 years out there and it's like just trust in me in the steps. Do this here and this will be great. We can add to this, but right now I only need this. And then for where the team's at and everyone sharing and showing as you've seen out there on the floor, it was special. Tonight was special because early I didn't see that and even when he was out there, he didn't see that. But that takes trust from each individual. That takes effort from his part to go and continue to do that. And it shows the, the faith in him, in him and his teammates and vice versa, and to put us in a position to go and win a game. And then you saw this young man step forward. So again, you, 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 we've heard about what he's capable of doing. Now he's done it in an actual game. And now it's maintaining that level to progress to go up progress to go up, which bit by bit, and this is 20 minutes, he hasn't played 20 minutes, so everyone's like, he scored more, more points than he scored in the first four games. Well, you, you, you're playing well, I'm playing whoever's playing well. As you see, Sunday didn't play 30 minutes, Macca didn't play 30 minutes, like, look down the look. You all get a shot. You're playing well, you play. Again, I'm here to win games. And while he was, he's been playing well, he's cutting, he's moving, he's sliding his feet, bit by bit, time will come. But everything's about earning in this game, as you know. Let's not talk about the 36ers and DJ Vasilovich this week. Have you spoken to his management and him about potentially filling that third spot? I'm not going to comment on that. Um, DJ is, I'll just say that, as we all know in this competition, DJ is a, a great asset to have for any club. Um, and I hope that he's with us. Have you got a timeline? Uh, if, you, if I have a lawyer here, I'll answer your questions. Otherwise, I need to take that to the, the management. Do you feel the urgency of that decision? I mean, if a decision was to be made and he was to come to Adelaide, I'd, I'd take it any time. Like, I, I'd, I'd like it to be done sooner than rather than later. Then, um, but if, like, there's a course. I hope the NBL and everyone else understands where... This is for the game. If it's for the individual player, uh, listen to the player, listen to the, the clubs, 
uh, I understand it's not my call. Again, I'm, I'm a coach, so I'm only speaking on what what my feel is. Uh, and yeah, I, I love the kid. Love to see him wear pink or blue or red or white. Thank you. How important was the pink slave game? Oh, 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 yeah, okay. All good? Was it, oh, how good was it wearing it? Oh, sorry, I didn't, didn't know you were asking a question back there. You, well, you just, yeah, yeah we're, we're in the, um, it's powerful, it's amazing. We know that uh, the, the cause in breast cancer to just cancer period and any other sickness, it's, it's a, a need for the world and for sports to get behind. Um, and I'm proud that we, we've done it, uh, the league's done it. I'm proud that our players embraced it. Um, there's an urgency for, for life to go get checked. There's an urgency to, for sports to, to uh, be on the floor and play urgency for every possession as it is for, for life to go get checked and understand that it affects everyone. And it affects, if you don't go get checked, you can affect the rest of your family. And for someone that's been in that, that area and understand and had tears of, you know, am I gonna, what, what does my kids look like if I'm not here right now? And to, to think about that, which no one wants to think about that. Uh, just personally, it was more of, have I let my family down? But I was happy in my own skin of what I've been able to produce to date. But it's not about that. It's about getting checked and understanding how that affects everyone else's life and the future of everyone else. Thank you.